Hello, Pastor. Pastor, I am tired of this marriage. What happened? Pastor, my, my husband raped me. How can your husband just rape you? Uh, the Bible says, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands. Pastor, he's not being a good husband to me. He's not. Didn't you take the for better, for worse vow? I did. Uh, and you didn't mean it when you were taking the vow? I meant it. Look, Sister Abigail, depriving your husband of sex is not submission. Sexual starvation can make a man to lose it. Pastor, he does not care about my needs. Irrespective, you should still submit to him. You know, anyhow, somehow. This is not fair. It's not fair. Oh. Even life itself is not fair, my dear. You just have to wait on God. Anyway, we have to pray for God to renew your husband's spirit and to heal him. Long suffering is biblical. Do you hear me? <laughs> Very well. All right, um, let's pray. Let's pray. Do you really think the advice you gave Abigail last night was the best? Which portion of the advice wasn't the best? Submission in the face of oppression. My dear, no marriage is a bit of roses. Yes, but who says a husband cannot rape his wife? How is that so? I mean, they are both married. His body belongs to her and her body is. Okay, so what about the part of the Bible that says, Husband, love your wife like Christ loves the church. Even that too does not derogate from submission. The Bible does not give that as a condition for submission. Under oppression. It doesn't. I hope you are not misinterpreting the Bible. Under oppression. When she dies, that's when you understand. They just do things. Well, Benzema. 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 Be, be, be a man. Be a man, bro. He said, go, go. Oh. Benzema, Benzema, Benzema. My husband, your food is ready. I'm not eating your food, though. Before you say I finished your food that you will give your son. Now he's looking slim. He's looking tingly. He doesn't have weight anymore. Mm -mm. Please, John, don't make it more difficult than it already is. Eh? Please, eat your food. Abigail, what is difficult in saying that I don't want to eat the food? How am I sure you didn't put anything in that food? Hey! Hey! I'm not eating all so that it will be enough for you and your son. John. John, why are you talking like this, eh? Why are you talking like this? You're talking as if the boy is not also your son. Eh? He's your son now. I know. He's my son. Because I scored the goal that brought him into the world. But apart from that, in reality, he's your son because I don't have a job. So you say I'm not worthy to be a father. And since I'm not worthy to be a father, he's not my son. In reality, he's your son. So he's not my son. John, please. Please. Please, I beg you. I beg you in the name of God. Please. I am sorry. I, I shouldn't have act, behaved the way I mm. did. But please eat your food, eh? I am trying to be a good wife here, or a Christian woman. Hey, trap. A very big trap. Very big trap, Abigail. See what you're giving me to eat for breakfast. Load. So that I will eat a half pot belly. Tomorrow if you divorce me and not find someone else to marry me. That's your plan. No. Woo! It's not working. I know what I did was wrong. Okay, we can we can we can have sex right now. Yes. We can we can do it here. Anyhow you want it left, right, center, anyhow. Please. Do you know I am scared? This is not you. Kneeling down for me. Hey! John. Mm -mm. John, come on, do. Yeah. Come on, do, I come on, do. Hey. See. I know you want to do. Do I know what you stuffed in there now? I can't want to do. I want to do. So I can do and die. How am I sure you not stuff something in there now? The same thing you stuffed in there that made me marry you. Sure. Because which man in his right senses will marry a woman like you? Eh? That talk, machine gun mouth. Power to mouth, typewriter mouth. John, you will not do. I will not do. See you will me. not do. I'm having my breakfast to see my breakfast. Mineral, I'm fine. John, please no. Do yourself. Please no, please. Do yourself. <laughs> Remove, I don't know how you want to do. Yourself. What kind of man? What kind of man is this? How do I even please him? I'm tired. Ah, 
Papa, you're here. You, you didn't tell me you were coming. Festus, there are so many things a man keeps to himself. But this, I can't. Papa, you just came in. Why don't you settle down before? No, I can't. The situation does not call for it. I don't understand. I don't understand either. You see, my wife has been patient enough. And she can't take this anymore. We need grandchildren. Papa, you have come again. Why can't you people just wait for God to work this out? Festus, why are you so selfish? If your mother were just like her, would you have been here today? Papa, I can't have you talk to my wife like this. She, 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 she was your, your God. And where are you going to yourself? I'm going to church. Join me. Festus. Papa, join me. I'm going I'm to church. I'm talking about something that is very important. You're talking about going to the church. Papa, just enter this vehicle now. All right, let's get there. Festus, so you and your wife decided to treat me with neglect. I came to your house. You never let me in. Brother, you brought me down to this place and kept me out there. But it's just that I'm tired of all this talk about my wife and children. God will give us children in his own good time. My son, I wouldn't have been so hard on you but for the fact that your mother is passing on. Is it too much for her to see her grandchildren before she goes? Papa, stop talking like this. Nobody is passing on. Okay. Why do you think I came all the way from the village to see you? My wife, your mother, has cancer. And it is spreading fast. In a few months from now, it will be very critical. So how come I was not told? We just found out. There's a church that organized a free medical checkup, and it was discovered that she has cancer. Her days are numbered. Oh, <clears throat> this food is very delicious. Thank you, Papa. You're a great cook, you know. Thank mm? you. But you need to do more cooking than this. Mm? Cook up children for us. You're a very nice woman, you know. I know that one very well. And I don't have anything against you in any form. In fact, you are one of those people who can count on when we want to count our blessings. But we need to count our grandchildren. Papa. Papa, this is not fair. It's not fair. I've done everything. I've tried everything. What else do you want me to do? I don't know what you want to do or what you don't want to do. It is not even fair that my wife is dying and she has no grandchildren to lay flowers on her website when she dies. Did he not tell you that she has cancer and may die any moment from now? And where is she going to? Papa, you're not being fair on her. But is she fair to us? Let's adopt a child. Is adoption God's plan? I don't understand. Look, God promised Abraham his own seed. And when he listened to the voice of his wife, it didn't go down well, did it? How is that the same? Look, I want a child that is my own blood. An Isaac, not an Ishmael. Like what your parents have been saying? That's what I deserve. I've waited for this long. We need a solution. We have to wait. Look, I wouldn't want to die not having a grandchild if I were your mom or your, or your parent. No. Not when all they've got is you. For how long? Well, 
So I've taken you around the rooms, right? Mm -hmm. Look, I'm not a lazy person and I don't tolerate laziness at all. Ah, man, no problem at all. It can work very well. So when you wake up first thing, you make sure you clean all of this place. Hi, dear. Yeah. Welcome, sir. How yes. How are you? <laughs> How was your day? It's good. Um, meet AB, our new house help. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, AB, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Okay. Take this to the room. Okay. It. You never told me you are getting a house help. I thought I told you I just got promoted and workload has been crazy. Weren't you the one clamoring for me to rest? No, no, it's okay. If if uh, you feel a house help is necessary, then it's perfectly okay. Mm. How did you preach at church today? <laughs> I was in the office working, oh. counseling. What and what? Who and who brought you on the office? Well. What was the shocking thing you heard today? Mm. The most counseling thing. You hear stories every day. Yes. Set up. But sometimes when I try, it's hard for me. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Sir? Would you like to eat your food now? Um, no. Let me take off these clothes first. Okay, sir. No, sir. So, join me. Sir? I said join me. Ah, sir, I have food in the kitchen to eat. I insist. Sit down. Take that plate and serve yourself. What were you doing before you came here? I used to work at the shop with my mother. Oh, you were a trader? Yes, sir. Mm. That's great. And why did you stop? Because my mother died. Oh, I'm very, very sorry. I, 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 I didn't know about this. May her soul rest in peace. Amen. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes. Please eat, eat, eat. Lord, I wanna serve you. Tell the word about you. But sometimes when I try, it's hard for me. Lord, I'm torn into two.
Okay, so um, what do you plan to do now? I have not really thought about it. Schooling, maybe. Mm. Mm. That, that is not a bad idea. Oh, darling, you're back. Welcome, back. Thank you. Since when did you start having dinner with Abby? Oh, well, I, I, I didn't know she lost her mom. She did. She lost her mom. Poor girl. I hope the food is good. Well, not as good as yours, but it's possible. Thank God she can cook well. At least you'll be well fed when I travel. <laughs> Where are you going to? Calabar. For what? Work. It's finished, Lord. It's finished. <laughs> 